Yeah, I think the fire started in this wing over here, and there was quite a strong wind coming from the west, which pushed the fire into the building. My name's Leo. I'm a firefighter in East Sussex. Uh, and just over a year ago, I attended a fire here uh, at the Albion Hotel. On the night of the fire, we had to attend from Hastings to provide support. And Hastings is, uh, is a long way away from uh, Brighton. It's over 40 miles. And this is becoming more and more common in our service because we just haven't got the resources or the numbers uh, to deal with incidents. So this isn't the first time this building, the Albion, has caught fire. Back in 1998, we attended a large fire here which needed 25 fire engines, but we had much more fire engines and much more firefighters. This time round, we had to go as far as London to help put this thing out, and as you can see, we didn't save it. 25 years ago, we'd have probably saved that building, but because of the lack of numbers of firefighters and the cuts that we faced, we couldn't. Because across the UK, we lost over 12,000 firefighters. That's one in five. We've seen control rooms close, we've seen fire stations close, and our attendance times are the highest they've ever been. So what do we want and what do we need? More commitment from the government. We need more investment. We need more firefighters. We need more fire engines to be on the run. Behind me, we lost a hotel due to fire cuts. But all across the UK, we're losing people's homes, businesses. We're seeing infrastructure destroyed. And in the saddest cases, we're losing lives. So if you want to fight for the future of the fire service, for better safety for us and the public, be there at the rally on the 8th of October. I'm going to be there. Are you?